Hello everybody and welcome back to the darkest dungeon. We are here again within the cursed estate and last time we had a hell of a time having some quite heavily um, <laughs> stressed out members of our team due to a quite boneheaded mistake that I made but uh, hey ho it's gonna happen from time to time and it was a little, little scary definitely a little scary. Let's just make sure that we've not got anyone on our, on our team here. Um, those guys did have some diseases that I should probably check out and make sure they aren't too bad before just getting rid of them. Um, wow, this is some bad stuff right here. This is some bad stuff, especially Bone Break Fever. Do you know, we're not using you this uh, this session, so let's uh, get rid of Bone Break Fever on you for now. Um, and just quickly get rid of it. Let's, let's just check our team for diseases. But anyways, jumping into this episode... Um, I wanted to say, I did a stream on the Black, uh, Black, Black Reliquary um, mod, sorry. The Black Reliquary mod. Um, ooh, definitely want to get rid of that as well. Uh, it was very, very fun. You can go check out on Twitch. I was planning on uploading it to um, uploading it to YouTube, but what I'll probably do is actually make some videos on it. Um, wow, we have some bad diseases going on right now. Some really bad diseases. Get rid of all of those for now, and then uh, we'll kind of just see how everything else goes. Um, but yeah, that's uh, there's some there's some not so great diseases on some of our people here. L lots of leprosy. Grey rot's actually one of one of the best ones we've got. But yeah, again, we're just gonna be taking it easy this time, and we're gonna be building up a team that's uh, a little more sort of on the weaker side and just leveling them up a bit. Some people that we maybe haven't taken out in a while. So we're looking for either a medium or short champion. Um, short champion would be better, but medium's also good. Um, I think what we can maybe do is bring Sunasis along. She hasn't been out with anyone to level them up in a little while. And maybe just power level some people via Sunasis's, uh lovely charm. So let's take a look at her and... Uh, We'll see if we can do that. But yeah, about the Black uh, Reliquary mod, a uh, complete overhaul mod, new storyline and everything. It was absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed it. We didn't end up doing too well because it's a lot harder than the base game and I was uh, not quite so ready for it. Um, so we got kind of destroyed. But it was really, really fun. Um, and uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, we had actually a, a very good time with it. Uh, and it's definitely something that I'm looking to do more of. Um... So yeah, let's uh, let's grab Sudisis and put her in the back line. And I'm gonna just set her up with some of the basics here. Um, one minute. Set her up with some of the basics here. I think she has some trinkets of her own actually now. We've actually got quite a, quite a few for her. Uh, here we go. Look. But so she's got some pretty interesting ones to be honest. But let, let's take a look first. So we've got minus damage received, extra crit, minus move, and minus stress. Uh, that's decent. Um, seems like that, that Furious Facts has a pretty interesting synergy there. Um, we've got these two, which are actually a pair. Uh, they would create the um, Knowledge Overwhelming. Um, so this would give us um, extra maximum HP, speed, a bit of stress, and stealth on attack if not in position 1 or 2, which is intriguing. Uh, and then we've also got this one here, which would give us Blight Resist, a little more maximum HP, a little more speed, a little more stress. But then Forbidden Chant and Beat Back would Blight for uh, 3 over 4. The one problem with that would be would be having these two. It would mean that we'd um, unfortunately have some really, really difficult issues with our health. And also, Knowledge Overwhelming, minus 100% Blight, uh, Bleed, Blight, Debuff, Move, and Stun Chance. Like, I I'm guessing that's to put you off wearing both of these at once, more than having a them as a synergy, which is intriguing. But if we take a look at Forbidden Chant and Beatback, uh, so Beatback is something we'd use at close range, probably not. Uh, Forbidden Chant, though, pretty interesting. Um, plus seven stress per enemy hit, which is obviously quite a heavy toll. Um, and minus five damage is pretty nice. And with that, with that blight from the trinket, it could be pretty good. Uh, but I don't know if it's what we want right now. Maybe we'll just stick with um, her regular setup and then go with something like um, just a sort of more prop based setup. I think going with, um, let's see, just going with like that and um, going with like these two here, just for nice, nice amount of prop. And um, lower in stress, extra maximum HP. 
just, she's basically here just to try and stay alive and help people out. I don't think we need her for much else than that. Uh, and you got to remember, Last Light's going to be helping out as well. So along with that, do we have any healers that we can bring that are at the lower end of the spectrum level-wise? Uh, I don't actually know if we do, so might not be as good of an idea, to be honest. Um, Chasey's always an interesting one. Uh, I do want to bring Baron out today. I think I'm going to grab Baron and uh, see if we can bring him out. He's a, he's a class that we haven't really messed around with all too much. Um, and I want to sort of give a bit of more of a... Give a bit more of a look at. And then maybe go with Scarlet here as well. And then... Was it Smith and Elise that we brought out accidentally without any torches? I think it was, wasn't it? We've also got Protocol, who still hasn't managed to get to level 5 yet. But this leaves us in an odd position because we don't we end up power leveling just two heroes because we don't have any dedicated healing because this uh, this is good but it doesn't really help everyone uh, so what we need to do is find someone that has a team based heal um well sorry e even just like a team based buff that can hit everyone that's going to mean that we can um easily use the last light and get everyone healed up but it doesn't look like we really have anyone like that in our party here. Victoria is an interesting one that we could use. Lumensome we still haven't really used yet. Um, he still needs to be leveled up and his skills need unlocking. So that's something we could possibly do here. Because um, he does have some skills he can use from the back line here. The Imperian Halo could be quite good. Pilgrim's March is also kind of nice. Although that does move us forward. Stealth Sun... Uh, I think Lumen's kind of building up to it. I don't know if he's quite ready yet. He's an interesting one. I'm I'm really not sure here. Eon's an interesting one that we could bring for that heal. But I believe we did bring Eon out recently, if I remember correctly. Um, and I, I kind of want to level the up. But then again, at the same time, he is kind of ripe and ready for the leveling. So I'm not sure. Because maybe we could do away with you... Grab Eon and go with the full-on heal build for Eon here, uh, which would be the syringes, wherever they are, and the last light. I think that's decent enough. Uh, I know we just brought him out, but I think we're getting someone leveled up nonetheless, so I think it's pretty good. And then we're, we're bringing Baron here, who we need to check on his skills, so... Baron's an interesting one. Um, obviously, these two moves are kind of out of the question. They're heavy bleeds, but they have to be used from spot one, which he isn't really going to be good for here. Um, the Dawning Howl, however, could be very nice. It's a very strong chance to uh, stun. It does, unfortunately, come with the ability to um, give ourselves some stress and lower torch. But, hey her. And we've also got this here, which would um, shuffle, which is really nice. Mark, uh, give us stress and stun us, it would also debuff the target for dodge. I think that's an interesting one to open up on, though, to be honest. Uh, and then we've got Regain Humanity, which would increase torch, uh, get rid of some stress, and a nice debuff, uh, sorry, buffs to our dodge and accuracy, but a debuff to our strength. Which, honestly, with this guy's damage range, doesn't seem too bad. Um, I think... Hmm. Call of Despair. I think maybe, let's let's just check what this is, buff self, uh, I think maybe we'd go with like Call of Despair and we'd kind of move these two around as and when we needed, because you got to remember that Thrust puts us into position one, these two heals are only usable from position one, but we do have a, a backline healer here, which could hopefully help us out, I think, this is kind of a weird one, I think we're going to use him sort of backline stun and then chaos us out of a, a, a full-on stun if we need it. And then Call of Despair is going to be used as a nice bit of damage if we need it. And regain humanity to get that dodge and accuracy should we need that as well. And I think to sort of pair with those nicely, um, we could of course buff up his crit. That would be decent. But I think, let's just take a little look. Do these actually deal damage? Both of these do deal damage. So that makes me think that... Going with um, that for the on attack hit with bleed, considering he's a bleed based character anyways, could be quite nice. As well as maybe, um, what would be another thing? Maybe we go with another another bleed based thing here. We've got quite a lot of bleed trinkets, so it's not a bad idea. Let's let's sort of have a little look around and see what would be best. There's plenty of things out there that we could use. Um, the bloody rapier is always, always a good one. Um, 
Yeah, we'll go with that, I think. Let's try that out. It's an, it, this is an interesting tactic, I think. I think using um, the Damning Hallow and the Chaos is intriguing. It might not be the best, but it's, it's at least intriguing. Um, and then maybe bring out Chasey as well here. This is... This is a weird one. Maybe not Chasey. I think we need someone that's got some more damage potential. Um, we've got a few people that could possibly fit the bill. But I don't know. Uh, Morgana's always nice from that position. Yeah, let's bring out Mor Morgana, shall we? Uh, let's grab Morgana. And Morgana's a pretty healthy gal. Um... She doesn't have the highest HP, but she's she's okay. She's got good crit. She doesn't have the greatest damage in the world, but what she does have with her is a nice hefty way of debuffing targets, and I feel like that's pretty damn strong. So maybe we stack onto that debuff life uh, and go with, like, crits received to help out, um, and then maybe just go with some protection, uh, go with some prot as a sort of nice little coverage basically i want to reduce the amount of healing we need to do with this team even if it does mean increasing our stress taken i think that'll work out nicely um and then let's take a look so we got the double hat for you for the extra prot and everything and then you've got a nice bit of extra healing there should we need it here we've got strong debuff uh, along with the um the plus six crits received on enemies hit so we can use that on all three of these should we need it um, in fact, bypassing stealth might be something that we, that we quite would like to do. So, maybe we remove the, maybe we remove the dazzle. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we remove entangle, actually. Sounds, seems like a weird one, considering it's our sort of bigger damage dealer. But, I actually think we remove entangle and go with, um, the windmill chakram. Just so we can get that bypass stealth, de-stealth, and accuracy debuff. And have her as just the true debuffer of the party. I think Morgana works really well for that. Uh, Baron, this is one that I've been wanting to try out for a while. I'm interested in seeing how he works. We're going with a very sort of off-brand build with him. Um, he is going to be taking on quite a lot of stress throughout this. And that does worry me a little bit because we don't really have much stress, redu stress reduction here. But at the same time, I think this could work in an interesting way so let's let's just try it out it's a it's a bit of a weird build and it might end up being that we regret it and we we feel that it doesn't work too well um but we can do know thy enemy here and and all this good stuff to help out uh i think we go with a bunch of food let's just go with like 20 food actually we can go with 22 we'll go with four of those four of those four of those we'll just go with four of everything else and we don't need any loud in them here. And just take all the torches this time. And we embark and see what we can get done here. I'm a little afraid of this. This could be a, a, a bit a bit janky. But we are going into the Warrens and Bleed should be pretty good here. We do have a diary entry um, from Nick. Sort of in the interim period while we're loading up here. So Nick, sorry, from T. Um, I don't know why I said Nick. I was reading someone else's name in the chat. And this is for Herbert, our Warrior of the Light. I finally have a moment to sit down and write. The few weeks I've spent at the Hamlet have been eventful, to say the least. I'd yet to join an expedition until a couple of weeks ago. It was no light work. The realm we were sent to was twisted beyond any reasonable comprehension. Enemies simply appeared, and we slew them. To, inv uh, to the in invigorating tune of a masterful musician. I love that. A medic was brought along as well. A very sensible decision, as we were in there for a long haul. Eventually, we fought to the heart of the place, at least as far as I was aware. The crystalline monster rose out of the blast, uh, blasted earth and began to awaken. The power of its mere half-consciousness was enough to start shredding our minds and bodies apart. The sickening turquoise shades of light shone straight through us. I could see the burns in my hand as the light went through my flesh. At the front... As the medic was barely keeping us, uh, barely keeping up with the otherworldly onslaughter, I stood as strongly as I could. I began to fight harder and strike faster. This seemed to have been at least somewhat inspiring to my allies, save one, the musician who came out, uh, who I came to know as Nick. That's where I got the name. <laughs> um, they didn't, they did nothing uh, obviously traitorous or mad, but they continued to play very skillfully. But something was definitely off. 
Prior to then, he had been prancing around in a merry dance as he played his battle tune, but then he just stood. I at least tried to avoid the light tearing me apart, but the lad just stood there, basking in it fully, but have sworn I heard him giggle. I'm in here praying with him now. We have not spoken yet, but I hear him muttering a few things, and the phrase, take me to the maddest corners of this world, um, is a rather strange thing to ask of the light. Oof, very interesting. Very intriguing, a great diary entry there. So this, a guide uh, compiled by the um, librarian on the quest location, we just take that right now. Gives us a nice revolve, uh, resolve buff for the uh, the rest of this journey. We're exploring 90% of rooms here, so we're just going to kind of go up, down. Actually, um, we should go... Yeah, this is fine, this is fine. Yeah, I'm, a li I'm definitely a little worried about this setup. I think we could run into some issues of not quite having enough damage. Um, but I think that overall, we've actually got an okay setup My for making sure we can deal test. the enemies. And I'm glad to be bringing Our Baron out finally. Home. It's uh, he, he is a story that I really like and a character that I really like the design of. And I've just not really gotten the opportunity to give him the, give him the time of day, to be honest. The, the rest of the team has been out there slow, uh, slaying whatever they can. Okay, this is already a pretty hard battle here. So let's, uh, let's try to stay on target here. As you can see, the Baron, not quite what you would expect. He's, uh, he's transformed already. So I think we definitely go for this to start with. I love that. There you go. Nice bleed on both of them. Nice damage on both of them and a stun on both of them as well. That sets us up nicely and I think we go with a Chakram on here. It killed him but if it hadn't have killed him and it had de-stealthed him I think that was worthy. Um, and I actually think this is this is going to be a setup that works quite nicely for us. The weaken here is going to be pretty problematic. Um, I think we go with a party heal to get the, uh, the prot started. It makes everyone full health but to get the prot started. Damage is definitely going to be the, the biggest issue here. So I think we want to lower this guy's damage if possible. Ah, we can't quite reach him. This dude does have some prop. Hmm. It's an intriguing one. I think we go for the kill on this. Lower his accuracy as well is quite nice. Go for the kill on you first. Hopefully this misses. Unfortunately not. We take on some stress. As long as the stress isn't being doled out to the Baron, I think we'll be okay. Extra damage received on you is going to be very nice here. We definitely go for you. I realize this guy's like one hit off dead, but this is going to hurt. And But that's the dodge. Nice one. Um, okay, so this would shuffle us and stun ourselves, but debuff you for dodge. Or we could move forward. Debuff your accuracy. I think we'll do that. Nice crit. Debuffs your accuracy. Oh, no. It didn't apply. That's unfortunate. And there comes the vomit. Unfortunately, the accuracy downs haven't really done anything for us so far. And we've taken uh, quite a lot of stress already. So we'll, we'll get rid of your prop. We'll use Eon to uh, to nicely destroy you. And let's, uh, let's get rid of some of your stress and give you some stress reduction in the future. I think that's going to work out nicely. But yeah, we can move forward like this by killing you. And positions are sort of reaffirmed now. We can pray that's not too bad. Ooh, that's a strange bug there, but only visual, I think. Um, I actually think we do that again. We got a crit. Very nice. We did move him back, which is also good. And we debuffed his accuracy, which is really nice as well. We are going to have to deal with uh, low light issues at the moment as well. Crit received. Lower your damage with one of those. Nice one, Morgana. And we put that on you for the stun. Unfortunately, no stun. But this should be it. Yeah, that would that went actually quite nicely. I do I do definitely fear that we're gonna end up running out of um running out of torches throughout this area. We we don't have a ton and we are using more than normal because of Baron. Uh this is a pretty uh a pretty hefty load of enemies here. I think I'm going to start out with uh, something kind of interesting and go with um, a nice big... Ooh, we saw some of the debuffs from previously. Uh, we'll definitely start with this. This is going to give us... This is actually really good with Baron because it gives us some interesting buffs throughout the fight. But I think with Baron, we're going to go with Chaos and just try and stun everyone immediately. It, not only will it stun either, it'll uh, give us a nice um, extra bit of... 
Hmm, let's, uh, let's have a look here. So, I think the accuracy debuff you. Uh, it's going to give us a nice bit of um, bleed on everyone as well. So, we'll go with chaos here. That's really bad. That's really, 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 really bad. I can't believe that missed. Ah, I can't believe that missed. At least it didn't stun him. That's that's one good thing. But I really was expecting to get through that. Okay. So we're going to have to start healing with Eon now, I think. Pop that torch up a little bit. Wow. Okay. The dodges are pretty, pretty legit on these dudes. The Doom Hammers come in ever stronger each time. So we're going to cure the Blight and Bleed off of you. Nice dodge. I'm not sure what that visual bug is with the Baron, but hey her. Try that again. Okay, we actually hit this time. I thought that stunned. Oh, it stuns me and... Wait a minute. Let's let's see what Chaos actually does, because I was a bit confused there. It just minuses dodge off of all of them. That's good, to be honest, because we, we were having some problems dealing with the dodge. Nice amount of healing across the board there. It's actually a really good setup, this, for taking him out. A big hit on Morgana does move her back slightly, which is a little annoying. I'm going to uh, just sort that out now. I'm going to try and stun. I want to try and, yeah, there you go. Drop that, uh, that protects. Ball and chain hits pretty hard there. It stuns us too. Not great. I have two stunned members of our team. So we're going to have to be careful in terms of what we're fighting here. Because um, for one, stress is getting kind of out of hand. But also, Baron's not really great at dealing with that uh, that stun when someone like Sunatis is also stunned. So we lose a lot of damage in doing that. I think we've got to be careful. These four enemy battles are a little harder than the three enemy ones. That is a lot of crits, sir. That is a lot of crits. You are getting a lot of crits. Nice dodge. But this time, who's got prop? You've got a lot of prop. Let's lower some of that, shall we? Nice one. Not the highest damage, admittedly. Brand comes in there. That's okay. We go with heals again because everyone kind of needs it. Keeps that prop at 30% as well. And I think this time we're going to go for the, the damning uh, howl. Because that's... Yeah, there you go. That, get, that gave us a double stun. I think that puts us in a very good position. I am worried about the stress that we're taking at the minute, but I don't think it should matter too much later on. Once we get camping and stuff. That hurt. It's the, it's, just, it's the stress that hurts more, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. It's the stress that hurts more. Um, I'll get some restoration on you just to help you out. These enemies are taking a while to go down, though, admittedly. Lower some of your damage. You can be pretty devastating otherwise. Then we'll try and kill this guy. Yeah, I think I'd, I think I, our damage output just isn't great, honestly. Maybe we'll switch up some skills here to make our damage a little more tolerable. Wow. We are taking some big damage here. And it's annoying because we're taking just an insane amount of crits as well, which is leading to a lot of stress. The light. The promise of safety. Okay, it gets rid of that guard. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, I thought I could get rid of guard if it stuns either. Reforge gives him an Aegis, which is annoying. Um, get rid of that on you. Stress is definitely a bigger issue than I expected it to be this, uh, this dungeon. I, I ain't gonna lie. And power. Does give us a nice amount of bleed on everyone. Or somewhat. I don't know. I didn't really give us that, that much bleed, actually. But it seems like we're going to end up getting a stress check here no matter what. This guy with all the prots, very annoying. We'll try and deal with Baron's stress a little bit here. Don't do that again. Okay, he missed this time. Thank God. This is the problem, though. We don't have, like, a, a, like a big, strong, single-target hitting sort of setup. 
So every enemy is getting nicely weakened, but at the same time, no enemies sort of dying. Everyone's staying alive, look. We're going to have to switch things up a little bit, I think. Okay, this is this is an odd one. This is a situation I didn't really foresee as much as I was expecting. I'm getting annoyed at this guy that just keeps fucking blocking everyone. And that aim of the heal does so much damage. Oh my god. Why is it so hard hitting? You need the restoration more. Oh god, things are bad. Things are bad. This is like a really hard fight for some reason. I don't really know why. Finally got you stunned. Another Aegis block on you, goddamn. You can't be missing that many people and lowering my torch by 10, it's useless. I knew that was going to happen, I like don't really care. Preservation is paramount at any cost. Kind of fine. This is insane. This is like... The squad just can't do this. <laughs> they just can't do this. We'll keep lowering your stress down. Why not? Yeah, I've, I've messed up with Baron's attacks. He's, he's basically useless. He, he stresses out himself far too quickly and does too much hurt to the group. You're finally dead. What the hell? He just destroyed his own block. That's kind of stupid of you. I think you're going to die to that, aren't you? Yes, you are. Good. Just you left. This is kind of annoying having him left, though, because he can do some pretty hefty attacks on us. Fortunate miss there. We'll lower his damage, though. That should help out. Ah, unfortunately, he blocked it. Nice. Hot calls is going to hurt, but luckily we missed. Nice little dodge there. Push forward. Okay, so we definitely need to switch up how we're playing here because it's just not working. Uh, your skills are just kind of trash. Um, I think we get rid of Chaos and Damning Hollow and we just go with these two and go with full-on bleed and then just, like, sit you at the front. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. And we'll sit you at the front and just kind of... No, I don't want to do that. Uh, just kind of see how that goes. And Eon can sort of push his way to the front whenever he needs to heal. And then you, you can kind of use your damning hollow from behind. I think that's kind of the best way to play this right now. Considering we've done, like, two battles and, and we, are, we are not looking very good at all and we've got to explore 90% of rooms, I'm not super confident here. I've got to admit, I'm not super confident here. He is selfish, so he's going to take some stuff. Don't touch those books. Thank you. Torches-wise, we're looking very bad. We're on 12 torches left, and we have quite, quite a lot to go. Pile of bones, holy water, good. We might have to do some of this mission dark, which is going to be very scary. Extra torches are very nice. Go to all the empty rooms we can. This will probably be a battle here. We haven't seen one in a little while, so I expect it. Good little trap there. That was useful. We didn't get a battle, actually. Might get one in this hallway, though. Double crit. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we are, we are totally going to run out of torches here. It's very likely. There's one room in the center there we didn't check, but we have no need to check it, so that's fine. Keep going this way. One thing I didn't do, I didn't actually level up everyone's skills, so there's a chance, yeah, level 4 skills. We've only got level 4 skills on one person, Morgana, so it's not a big deal, but it's definitely a missed opportunity. You take those, you selfish bastard. 
I've done so much for you, and you, you, this is how you treat me. Okay, so let's let's see let's see with this the surprise definitely helps. So let's see with this setup. Maybe maybe we we feel that this works a little better. I think straight off the bat we go for the stun on these two, try and drop that uh, guard. Unfortunately, it didn't work, but we did get rid of the stress healer's ability to hit us so easily. Go with that. You resisted the bleed? Are you kidding me? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Why'd you have to resist the bleed, sir? I think I messed up. I did. I messed up. I messed up real bad. I just realised... I changed Baron's skills and didn't put Call for Despair back on so you can no longer get into the front position without moving. That's not good. That's really not good. Ah, I was hoping it'd still de-self him even though it was he was guarded, but obviously not. Yeah, that's not good. That 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 could lead to some serious problems and mean that Baron's even more useless. Damn. Okay. I'm just going to move you back to give Baron some opportunity to do some damage because you don't really do much damage and we don't need you to heal right now. Take out you. Good. Kind of annoying when you get to bleed anyone, but still. Eight other three would be nice. Look where it hurts. Could do some nasty crits here, so let's look out for those. Minus some damage off of you. I know that you don't really attack us that much yet, but I still think that works. And I think we'll uh, keep Baron there and let him uh, stun. Go ahead, damage received on you, because you've been quite a pain in the ass. Oh, no. Worst timing for that. Pass turn. Okay, that doesn't help. Oh, God. This has been difficult so far. I'm going to hit you just to get rid of that Aegis. Yeah, works. Also lowers your accuracy still anyways, so that's good. Fuck where it hurts. I knew that was coming. Fusion. Nerves. And we need a party heal here, so let's go for that. Gives us that nice bit of prop too. And yeah, this is just a precarious position we've got ourselves in here. We've kind of built something that doesn't really work that well. But we need to level people up nonetheless, so I'm not too bothered. Um... Lower some of your stress. You're a bit too stressed. Yeah, look, we can only do... We can only hit you, which isn't great. Still, like I said, stunning you and giving you some bleed is pretty good. I think we've maybe messed up his trinket setups as well, to be honest. Baron, like, there was a reason that I hadn't played Baron in a while. It's just because he's hard to figure out and hard to know how to fit him in. And I've kind of forced him into this build. It didn't work super well, to be honest, but it worked well enough. Nice dodge. Good, Lauren, that stress. Stun you helps. These little dudes are just the worst. Uh, I think we move you back again and get you ready. How did you resist the bleed again? 60% chance and you resisted all of that bleed. You basically make our guy useless. Please stop. Lowering this guy's prop while giving him bleed is pretty nice, I will say. Wow, that hit was far larger than I was expecting. I'm very happy with that. Hurts a little bit, but we're okay. Last turn. That's actually fine. Give you some restoration. How about that? Nice dodge. The hook where it hurts does indeed hurt. You are right. We are going to have to heal here. We need it. Even though I'd very much like to move over. Lower this guy's prop. He is impossible to bleed. He's resisted three in a row now. What the hell's going on with you? Don't even know what he did there, but... Oh, he did He did the um, regain humanity. Okay. 
This man, this little piggy, is a genius. A genius. That's okay. We've got a lot of restoration. You should be fine. Let's swap out. You missed this bleed again. Are you kidding me? 60% bleed resist. How much How much chance do you have to bleed, you earth? If this misses as well. He, this, this man, this little pig, has resisted like six bleeds in a row. This is madness. Is there something I'm missing? There must be, right? There must be. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Please don't guard. God's sake. At least we're dodging the hooks from now, from time to time. Aim at the heels annoying though. Oh, I was really hoping that'd kill him. Oh my god, we bled him. It's it's a Christmas miracle. How has he done it? Does anyone know? de-stressing the hell out of ourselves here and buffing up our torchlight. Sadly, we can't even attack this other guy until this dude's dead. Bit of a waste of a turn. Lower that prop. There's some bleed. Nice. Why not give you some bonus damage? And crits received as well. Yeah, I knew you were going to crit there. I could just feel it. But we're, we're going to heal that 16 straight back. Eon's resolve is tested. Masochist, of course. Nice. Okay, that was stressful. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay. I think we should camp. Circle in the dark. We the wanna uh, first of all one. produce our book. Yes, that worked out nicely. Run supply. Party minus 10 stress. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Um, Lots of self-only stuff here. It keeps in theme with the selfish attributes. I think we probably want to go for the... Uh, all round stress reduction, even though it's not that great. The match is struck. A blazing star, blazing is, star born. is born. Right, let's quickly just change this out for. Sorry, we'll change this out for this. Because, yeah, we need a way to move back and forth, and we were kind of being stupid there. Oh, our group is all messed up right now. Some reward for a task. Well, oh, also, let's uh, get our research notes going. Good, good. My lord, my lord. Last few rooms, hopefully. This has been a trial. An interesting trial, but a trial nonetheless. You guys don't have thingy, so let's get rid of dodge if we can. We can't get rid of dodge, so I think we just get rid of accuracy and try and do some damage. Always start with that. I'm going to regain humanity first so we can actually get a move on with Eon. Start. Get that proc going. Not a great selection of people here, but it was the only low-level healer we had, even though Eon was out recently. Just gonna have to deal with it. Such a Some munches coming in. Cannot be left unanswered. No blight, though. That's good. And we're gonna go for that again and just finish you off. Worked quite well last time. It's one dead. Just take him out one by one. Okay, 
that's a lot of blight coming in. Let's cure that up. Nice hit on you. And then Baron can move himself forward here. Finish you. Oh, really? I didn't finish you. Okay. I was expecting it to, but very little damage, apparently. There you go. That'll kill you. Get rid of that blight. I really don't want to do that, so I'm just going to do this. I want to do that there. Okay. This Baron... You suck. I'm sorry, but you do. Why can't you bleed anything? I literally built you specifically around bleeding. I've got to check. Like, this adds um, extra melee skill, but this this adds um, bleed chance. Why? What's going on? Why are his stats so, like, chronically low? Is it because he's afflicted? No, 75. Like, it's not terrible. And then his skills, like... I suppose 100 isn't actually that good, but that's still annoying how much he's missing that. Like, this is 130, so that's a lot better. Still, very annoying. Munch. Munch, munch. Lots of light. Munch, munch. There you go. A nice kill. Yeah, I think Baron just wasn't the right choice here. He just doesn't work well with this group at all. I don't really know what group he'd work well with, to be honest. Maybe Dark Wraith or something like that. But he has a really hard time. Like, he's not putting out much damage, and he's lowering our light. He's just more of an inconvenience, really. I do apologize, Baron. You've tried your best, but you've really not, uh, not doing too well for us here. And you just caused us a lot of stress, apparently. Even the aged oak will fall to the tempest's winds. Last turn, great. It moved back. Good. That attack does so little damage as well. It didn't even bleed him. It's frustrating. I thought you were going to be so good at bleeding enemies, but you're completely pathetic at it. It is literally your only job and you suck at it. Success so clearly in view. Or is it only job and you suck at it. The light? Right, these last few rooms I think are going to be pretty tough. I think we only have to do one though. I'm glad that that, was, that, that wasn't combat, I've got to be honest. Curious is the trap maker's art. Oh, 25, that's his a lot of stress. Unwitnessed by his own eyes. Okay, we did it. Wow, Return to the Hamlet. Definitely uh, more stressful than I thought it was going to be. We're talking a lot more than I expected there. We got ourselves um, this here. Not bad. And everyone should reach level 6 here. Indeed, they did. Very nice. That's good, at least. The Org. Intriguing. That's not very good. We definitely want to get rid of that. In truth, I wow. Cannot tell how much Anyways, time has let's uh, get rid of all of our trinkets. Bought them again. And then... Put you in here first and get rid of that because it's terrible. You can go in there. You can go in there. And I think we'll leave it there for this episode. A very, very stressful one indeed, but we, we did manage it. A very strange grouping of people. May not have worked so well, but we at least got everyone to level 6, which is our goal. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.